What is going on guys? It is Duke and today we are going to look at an amazing war between Bosnian Knights and Sixes. That's right, Six Schlitzes. These guys uh, are veteran on the war scene as far as a clan goes. If you guys uh, know anything about the uh, the war scene competitive wise, you know that these guys have been around forever and they are really good and really crafty. So Bosnian Knights the score was tied. They lost due to percentages, but 94.45% is nothing to hang your hats about. Well, before we get into this uh, video, make sure you guys are subscribed. We're going to be covering so many different bases, so many different topics over the next couple weeks. I'm super excited about it. I know you guys should be too. We might be getting into some streaming very, very soon, so that is going to be awesome. But what we're going to do in this video, we are going to be looking at Town Hall 9 attacks. Variety at the Town Hall 9 level. I'm going to show off four different attacks here. Now there were 20 different bases to hit from a Town Hall 9 level in this war. And Bosnian Knights used a whole variety of attacks. Going from Dragloon to uh, Gohoi to Queen Walk to Cold Lalo to regular Lalunian. There were so many different Town Hall 9 attacks and I, I was kind of taking a break from the Town Hall 9 uh, showcasing for a while, only because there were so many amazing Town Hall 10 and 11 hits recently. But you guys have been asking for Town Hall 9 content, so you know that I always listen to you guys. I love you guys. I want to give you what you want to see. I just don't want to throw out there what I think is just cool for me, because really, you know, I'm not the one that's just watching the video. I might watch it once or twice. But other than that, I'm just sitting back and listening to what you guys have to say. And, uh, you know, listening to what you what you guys uh, want to see. So you guys are the viewers. It's basically your channel. I'm just sitting here throwing out the content for you. But I was kind of surprised at Town Hall 9, but you guys got it. We're going to jump into what I think are four of the most damaging Town Hall 9 hits right now. And I was kind of surprised. What I did was looking at these different attacks, I logged every single one. And I logged the time that it was that it took to demolish a base. I know sometimes when I show some of these attacks, they take like three minutes slow moving. There might be one or two troops left at the end. Uh, these attacks went through pretty quick. Uh, now, it could be a number of things that went into it. It could be base design, uh, things like that. So, like I said, these aren't the end-all, be-all, but it's a pretty good start, especially for you guys who are looking to get a little bit more variety in your Town Hall 9 attacks before you move up to Town Hall 10 when it starts getting extremely hard. But it's cool, so let's go ahead and jump on in. I know I'm excited to get started. The first one is actually one of my favorite attacks that's in the game right now because I love dragons. I know everybody loves dragons. I know uh, Joey from Live and Maddie. He loves dragons. Of course he does. Dragloon is amazing. So you're especially looking for for air defenses that are in a cluster like this one or that are really close together where you can smash them out. So right there, what Demon does, he goes, he takes out two air defenses. So right now, this base is uh, it's pretty susceptible right now to these air troops. So you're going to see he's going to be coming in on the back end there with the dragons as far as on the back left. So he's got to go all the way across that base. But right now, he made a pretty nice funnel uh, with his king and those dragons to push his queen up there on the right-hand side. So uh, he, he's going to take out more than these two air defenses. So let's see what happens. He's got a whole bunch of dragons down, a few loons. And he's got eight loons sitting in his back pocket. He's got a rage, he's got a haste, and he has the queen's ability. So there goes a third air defense. But right now, we still have the clan castle to deal with, which right now looks to be an air CC, most likely a hound, which will not trigger on air troops unless a ground one comes on through. So right now, going after the king, seeing if he can take out that king. Yes, he's going to make a nice little path for his loons to come through as you can see he drops the haste spell for the loons to get over on that tesla and go right to that air defense and at this point this base is helpless so this was an amazing one where we're looking at a minute 50 seconds to demolish this maxed out town hall nine it's not like it was a weak town hall nine this was a strong one but very, very good scouting by Demon. Knowing what to hit with and how to hit it, where to hit from. Those are amazing things guys always ask me. How should I hit a base? Well, really, you got to look at the base. You got to scout it out. Take your time. Look at it. You don't need to take an hour or two. Just check it out. See where the soft spots are. Demon saw that it was very, very open to air. Dragloon smashed this one. I love a Dragloon attack. I'm sure you guys do. Thumbs up on the Dragloon. Put it down below. I love seeing the drags rip on through. Kind of like the old school Clash of Clans. So that's always cool. 
All right, this next one here is going to be a cold Lalo hit, which is one golem coming in. He's going to be coming in right up at the queen's face, and he's got a couple hounds and 18 loons here. So we got the we got the bowlers in the clan castle. Make sure if you don't have them, you can get them from your boys in your clan. And he's got the the heroes down, and he's looking to get right in there and take out the uh, the archer queen and then also take out those two air defenses as you can see queen is doing a good, good job not walking like I know she has lately seems like she's walking all over the place heal spell down for the uh, bowlers right there which is uh, interesting so he's able to take out the queen take out one of his air defenses and it looks like that wizard will go ahead and do its thing and the queen is doing hers by trying to take out that uh, hound from the clan castle which is not going to play a huge role in this raid so now is the time to go ahead and really start to bring in, in the loons because as you can see right now he forced a nice path for these loons and the hounds to come in a counterclockwise motion. As you can see the hay spells down at uh, what do we got like uh, 10 o'clock and 9 o'clock or maybe like 10.30 who knows but uh, rage spell down it's going to rip those over to that last air defense let's see if they can pop on over yes he's going to go ahead and drop that last air defense so this is an awesome one so first two attacks right off the bat are air so if you guys are timid if you guys are nervous make sure you get out there in your friendly challenges test out your air attacks get good with air if you can really get good with air and you can really really pull off a lot of these hits it means you're really good with your pathing and really means you're really good at creating a nice funnel so right now the loons are going to go rip through and go into that last air defense and then they're going to make their last pop-up tesla sorry about that so and then they're going to go over and hit that one tesla up on the top left there everything else is almost destroyed at this point bomb tower it's not going to do anything for those loons but queen still has the majority of her health and her ability which is not going to be a problem because this single point attack tesla doesn't stand a chance for these loons and he's going to go ahead and take down the entire base really good attack looks like the time on this one was two minutes and 12 seconds so Mr. Luxie doing an amazing job with this cold-blooded Laloon hit. All right, now we're showing off Dadisha. Now Dadisha is coming in with a Queen Walk Go Ho Wee, which is I love. I love a good Queen Walk. Make sure you guys get good with the Queen Walks. Make sure you're timing your rage spells. Make sure you're popping the ability at the perfect opportune time but really the main thing here is to go ahead and create a nice path whenever you're using hogs you have to make sure you get your pathing down you do not want to just spread them out all over the place let them go every which direction you have to lead these guys uh, these guys coming through with these uh, with these pigs love to go through and they love to just go all over the place and look for defenses that's why it is really up to you to create a nice path create a nice funnel for them to go exactly where you want this way you can lead the heal spells and keeping them alive and making your raids super strong out comes clan castle we have the queen on the back end there so it's going to be interesting how he takes them out as takes her out so it looks like he's going to jump over there with the golems with the barbarian king with the balloons from the uh, clan castle queen's still up top there going around the base and he still has 14 of these hogs yet to go ahead and use still hasn't popped the the king's ability yet which is great and now the queen is being targeted the opposing queen is being targeted once she is down that is a wonderful time to go and rip through if you look at this base right here it's basically cut in half and that will allow his hogs to just squeak up the right hand side looks like all heal spells are down but it looks like at this point there's nothing left that's going to just do a ton of damage all of the splash damage units are gone and they really have to get over and take out the air defenses this was a smashing attack this one went in at two minutes and 12 seconds just cutting through this like a hot knife through butter and all that's left on the back end there is a little bit of cleanup he still has one hog for cleanup which is uh, kind of interesting usually like to have something different but hey hogs can go through and they can tear up a base uh, just as much as a wizard or a minion uh, can go through and do it so wonderful attack here by Dadisha amazing job doing this also so the fundamentals were perfectly on point so really great job as you can see we have a whole cavalry ripping through going through the last part of this uh, attack three stars that he should pulling it off so this was a really really good one uh, you guys that are down low or maybe town hall eight that's a great time to uh to get your go ho we uh armies going before you even get your queen you can still use that down in town hall eight get good at that you'll be getting good at town hall nine all right the last one we're showing here is by jay Scoo. 
and it's just your straight up go ho we with one redheaded valkyrie mixed in there so your go ho we is is basically going through creating a nice funnel he's got the baby dragon down he's got the wizards wizards going to be going behind your golems they always create a beautiful funnel and he's got the jump spell down he's looking to get in there take out the archer queen and taking out the clan castle it's always the biggest rule of thumb when you're using hogs is to take out the queen if you do not get rid of her and you do not get rid of the clan castle they will make your hog raid a living nightmare and you're basically just going to be sitting there with nothing left to do but watch your hogs get tortured and get demolished so right now he has the ability both left on both of the heroes as he's going to be ripping through it looks like he is now excuse me going to be going ahead and ripping up the top right hand side of this base in a strategical fashion so he's got a few more of the hogs coming in at the top meanwhile down below king and queen are doing her thing and he still has the clan castle which is going to have hogs inside of it there they come max hogs on that left top left hand side coming in as you can see he's going to force them to come around in a count in a counterclockwise motion from uh, about one o'clock ripping all the way through and that's where you can see the pathing of the heal spell goes and now at this time it looks like majority of the base is hollowed out queen is still down at the bottom there king is still ripping through he's still got a little bit of life left over. no actually that's the opposing king it looks now that's his king that's his king goes down but by that time hogs have done the done the deed has the wizards on the back end which is beautiful they're going to be ripping through hogs are going to take out that last tesla with the heal spell right on top of it probably didn't need it but hey better to be safe than sorry so this was another one of those uh awesome town hall nine attacks there's such a variety let me know if you like dragloon let me know if you like the uh queen walk the, actually the cold-blooded lalo attack style let me know if you like a queen walk go ho we or it's just a straight up go ho we what do you think is the strongest attack out there right now what do you think are some of the amazing ones i may have missed them but there's so many it seems like witches may have taken a back seat which I do not have a problem with that. I was so tired of seeing witches after witches after witches. It was kind of driving me crazy. Seeing so many witch attacks, it was uh, driving me a little bit nuts. I'm sure it's uh, may have been driving you that way too. But uh, let me know down below in the comments. Let me know what, what you think as far as the style goes. I think Town Hall 9 is in a good place right now. There's so many different variations because it looks like Supercell is trying to push these Town Hall 9 lifers up to Town Hall 10 and using these varieties of attacks so maybe when it comes time to go to town hall 10 they're going to be well skilled and well trained but like i said make sure you guys are subscribed and we will catch you next time